Hi guys, it's me, Brooke, again. Um, I'm here with my mini-series while I'm in the aesthetics program at the Academy of Versailles. I want to make my first video on the basics. When I mean basics, I mean skin. That's what we're working with. That's the base of everything else that goes on top of it. So you should know what type of skin you have, and I think that's quite important. So the first type of skin type I'm going to be talking about today is dry skin. A lot of people think dry skin is dehydrated skin, and this isn't the case at all. It could be, but most likely dry skin is because it lacks um, enough oil. So the skin produces enough oil to make a protective barrier for other pollutants and environmental factors that may affect our skin. Now whenever your skin is dry, it's lacking that oil and that protective barrier. So when you have dry skin, it usually appears flaky. Um, your pores become very small, very, very small. Um, even enough, you might not even be able to see them. And you, you can be prone to um, rashes, a bit of itchiness, um, but most often than not, a lot of flakiness and dead skin cells build up. So when you have dry skin, it's very important to um, exfoliate just because you want to get that um, the dead skin cells off your face. However, it's sort of a catch-22 because you want to exfoliate and get those skin cells off, but at the same time, you have to be very, very, very careful and gentle with your skin because it's lacking that protective barrier that normal a normal skin type would have. So with this type of skin, you want to make sure that you depict whether it's dehydrated or whether it's dry and is lacking oil. If your skin is dehydrated, it can have the same features and um, the same features and uh, side effects. Um, but you want to make sure that you're getting a water-based moisturizer. If you're getting an oil-based moisturizer and your skin is actually dehydrated, you're not doing anything and you're not fixing the problem. So, for dry skin. The only way to fix that, lots of moisturizer, water-based moisturizer, as well a lot of gentle exfoliation. So the next skin type is normal skin. Normal skin usually has a very good balance of its oil and water balance. Now because it's balanced, it's very important to maintain this balance. A lot of things can throw it out of whack. But to keep and maintain this normal skin type, you want to make sure that you're using products that aren't giving your skin too much oil. You're not using products that are making it too dry or dehydrated. You want to make sure that you're using products that will help you maintain that normal skin condition that you have. Normal skin is depicted usually by its blemish free You'll notice that the pores from the T-zone to the outer side of the face go from probably a medium size to a smaller size and um, the uh, yeah and basically it, it's just about maintaining the skin type because this is something that everyone wishes they could get to um, so you definitely don't want to throw it out of whack and and ruin that for yourself. The next skin type I'm going to be talking about is oily skin. Oily skin is um, is very hard to um, go away because a lot of people aren't educated with the right products they should be using and the right skincare regimes. To um, to diagnose yourself with oily skin, to put it that way, um, oily skin you'll notice that the pores are from a large to medium size. Because the pores are larger, they're holding in more oil. Because they're holding in more oil, a lot of the times people are um, Acne prone, probably uh, have a few blemishes, blackheads, whiteheads, things like that, just because there's such an oil buildup and probably bacterial buildup in those pores because they are so large. However, the great thing about oily skin, well, not great thing, but the, the thing about oily skin is because there's that oil there, it's giving you an extra layer of a protective barrier. So some people who are naturally oily skinned, uh, a lot of darker skin types create more oil buildup uh, just to protect them, protect them from the sun exposure that they do um, go through. They age slower, which is sort of funny because a lot of people think oily skin is such a bad thing. Um, but for some people, and that's just how their skin is, it's something that they benefit from. 
if it's something that isn't your natural skin type and it's something that comes and goes and it's a concern of yours, um, what you should be doing is, of course, exfoliating. Exfoliating is important for all skin types, but especially for oily skin. What you're doing when you're exfoliating is you're taking that dead skin, the layer of dead skin, off of your face so that those pores are able to be exposed and you're either able to extract or clean out those pores with a, a deep cleansing milk or, um, um, you know, those products that help you uh, take all the bacteria and dirt out of those out of your pores. So you want to make sure that you're not using products that are oil-based, preferably water-based, because you don't want to be putting more oil on the oil you're trying to get rid of. It's contradictory. Um, and you just want to make sure that, again, all your products, they don't have a lot of concentration of oil and you're using um, and you're exfoliating a lot. So the next skin type I'm going to be talking about is combination skin. Combination skin is obviously a combination of um, oily and dry skin. A lot of people say that they have uh, certain areas on their face that are more oily than normal and that they have certain areas on the face that are drier than they normally should be. Um, a lot of the times people with combination skin have more oil build up around their T-zone here. So going from their forehead down to their chin and across from cheek to cheek. A lot of the dryness happens to be in the cheek area, around the eyes, and a little bit on the forehead. Now if you notice that you've got some oily parts on your face and some dry parts on your face, this means your combination skin. To deal with combination skin, you want to make sure that you maintain a regular routine of exfoliating. This is very, very, very important for this type of skin only because you're getting rid of those dead skin cells and you're letting whatever products or serums or moisturizers or whatever, you're letting it seep into the pores and actually get through to the skin and do what its job that it's supposed to do. So um, the only thing I could say and recommend for this type of skin type is to make sure that you're exfoliating a lot. Um, not a lot as in, you know, twice a day, but at least, I'm going to say three times a week. Maybe even a soft, gentle scrub um, every evening as a cleanser. Um, but also make sure that you're using water-based products because you do have that dryness in your skin and you want to hydrate that part, but you don't also want to add more excessive oil into the parts that are already oily. So the last skin type I'm going to be talking about is sensitive skin. Now, it's very um, thought over that sensitive skin isn't actually a skin type, however, it's a skin condition. Sensitive skin is something that is not permanent. Sometimes it is, depending on the skin type. Um, if you're an albino skin, then yes, you will be naturally very, very sensitive, and that probably will never leave you. However, if you, um, for me personally, I always thought I was sensitive skinned as well, just because I reacted to uh, a lot of different products, and it didn't take much for my skin to be irritated by stuff. Um, however, I have learned that it's more of a condition than a skin type. It's something that's not permanent, however, it's reversible. Um, for sensitive skin, to, to diagnose a sensitive skin, it's usually very irritated and red um, by, uh, by certain products, maybe even every product that goes onto your face. Um, it also is, um, is um, provoked by a lot of um, environmental factors as well. Um, stress, caffeine, sun exposure, too much sun exposure. Um, unhealthy elements uh, such as you know very very cold weather extremely hot cold weather um, the climate changes and all that really 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 get to our skin um, a lot of people who do have sensitive skin will notice in the winter they get extremely dry skin even cracks all that in the summer they've got the most oily skin ever um, and that's just its reaction to the climate change um, also, for sensitive skin to deal with this, you need to realize that it's not a life sentence. It is something that can change and that is reversible. It takes a lot of home care as well. You could probably go in for facials, um, certain facials that will help your skin tolerate different products. Um, obviously, if your skin just doesn't like a product, 
that's just how it is. Not every skin's gonna like everything. Um, however, it shouldn't be, like I said, it should not, it should not be a life sentence, and it shouldn't be something that should hold you back from, you know, wearing makeup or using a moisturizer or using a scrub or whatever. Um, with the skin type, though, you do have to remember, uh, because it is sensitive, you have to be very gentle with it. You cannot do excessive exfoliating. You cannot use a scrub that's got grains of sand in it this big and rubbing and rubbing and rubbing, especially with a buff puff too. You know, I used to do that all the time, um, but if anything, it'll cause more problems than it is it is fixing problems. Um, so in that case, you want to use um, products that are gentle. You want to be very gentle in your exfoliating. And probably once a week, you should be exfoliating because sensitive skin it's 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 skin you need to get those dead skin cells off either way um you just need to be very gentle about how you go about doing it um as well you want to use products that aren't very high concentrated in fragrance because that does provoke a lot of irritation for sensitive skin however like i said sensitive skin is not a life sentence and is something that can be reversed you just need to get the right skincare regime find products that suit you that don't make your skin irritated and really stick with that.